Hi, hello, welcome to another raid build video. This time we are building for the seven star water Don Dozo that will be happening this week. This raid will go on for about two weeks with no actual weekend break in between. Before we get to the six Pokemon that I've built for this raid, let's go over what Don Dozo can actually do. Don Dozo's only type is water type and it will be water type Terra, which means that its water type attacks will be very threatening to any Pokemon that does not resist water. It does have three abilities, but every single seven star Pokemon has had the hidden ability, even if the hidden ability was not optimal. In this case, Water Veil will prevent Dondozo from being burned, which is actually kind of good for Dondozo because uh, its physical attack is its best, uh, best stat here, obviously, compared to special attack. Um, so, and it has like three special attacks. So burning it would be helpful, but there's ways around that. Uh, obviously, we could disable its ability and try to burn it, depending on how fast the raid shield goes up. Uh, something like Will-O-Wisp might not be very helpful uh, off the bat. So we're going we're gonna to build by just ignoring the ability and doing other things besides burning it. Has a huge HP stat, has really, really good defense, and uh, not very good special defense. It's also very slow. I think for this raid, we are going to go very heavy on the special defense uh, because, again, if you look at the defense, it's almost double the special defense. So while you could use a Pokemon like Iron Hands, which I'm sure I'm sure you will see a bunch of Iron Hands, uh, that seems like you're doing more work than needed since its special defense is a lot lower. Uh, and we can pair that with something like Acid Spray and be able to defeat it a lot quicker by focusing on its special defense. Uh, let's talk about the moves it gets. Uh, we're going to come back to the special defense in a second. Move wise on the attack side, we're going to take in account order up. This is a dragon type move and it is a signature move for Dondozo. It's the only Pokemon that gets order up. Uh, it's 80 damage, 100% accurate. And this does throw a wrench in a couple things, how strong this move can get. Uh, the six star Dondozo does have these three moves right here, order up, heavy slam and wave crash. And there are ways around some of these moves either. But Wave Crash is probably the most threatening move it gets because it is a water type. So you get the same type attack bonus with Wave Crash. You also get the Terra Water increase. And it is possible that Dondozo can Rain Dance. So Wave Crash can hit really, really, really hard, even for Pokemon that resist water type moves like Grass Pokemon. One of the stronger normal type moves we have is Takedown, Avalanche, Earthquake, Zen Headbutt, Body Press, Crunch, and Rock Slide. These are all the moves we have calculated for the, the six Pokemon I'm about to talk about. On the special side, uh, it gets like Hydro Pump and Surf. Uh, I, I did calc these just in case it does have one special move, just making sure our, we didn't like miss any loopholes. Obviously, if you can survive Hydro Pump, you can survive Surf. That's why we calced Hydro Pump. The six-star Dondozo has Curse. We have seen Curse on a variety of seven-star raids. And this is actually another reason why we're going to go on the special side of things. We can control Dondozo's attack a variety of ways. Chilling Water. Reflect, Tablets of Ruin, I think is uh, Wo Chen's ability. Lunge, there's, there's, a, there's a couple ways to control the attack. Uh, but if it's going to power up its already very good defense stat with Curse and lower its speed, that's what Curse does. It increases attack, defense, lower speed. Uh, we can just ignore this defense again altogether and just focus on special defense because it has no way of increasing its special defense. So again, could an Iron Hands work here? Um, Yes, it does do super effective damage and it does survive pretty okay, but if this defense stat keeps getting higher and higher and the attack stat keeps getting higher and higher, um, that seems to be a losing battle unless that Iron Hands is surrounded by resources to help deal with Curse. We already talked about Rain Dance. That just makes its water type moves better. And then the other things to take in mind are uh, Yawn and Rest. The six star Don Dozo that you could have battled for the last almost two years gets Yawn and Don Dozo itself gets Rest. So this would put himself to sleep, but get health back. Although uh, we've seen me do this. I doubt we'll see Don Dozo do this, but Yawn would be annoying. There's two, there's a couple ways to deal with Yawn. Uh, one way is Electric Terrain, which uh, Maridon gets, and you'll probably see. Uh, a lot of Maridons this weekend. I don't think it's the worst pick, um, but Maridon does not have a lot of ways to deal with Curse. Uh, Yawn would be incredibly annoying due to you going to sleep, so Electric Terrain would help with that. I believe you could also use Safeguard. You could also use 
Misty Terrain, although a lot of Pokemon that get Misty Terrain would be weak to Heavy Slam. And Misty Terrain would also reduce the damage of Order Up, which would help Maridon in that case, since Maridon is weak to Order Up. Uh, but I couldn't find a really reliable Misty Terrain user that wasn't Primarina, which wasn't the worst, but also didn't do a lot besides set Misty Terrain. I think Primarina could still work, for the record. Electric Terrain is probably the better bet, uh, especially because we will see Maridons this weekend. And again, I don't think Maridon is the worst pick. It's not on my list, but Maridon does at least prevent the yawn for your team. So I think Maridon, with a combination of other Pokemon that can Chilling Water and Reflect, and keep that attack stat under control would do just fine. Yeah, that's that's Don Dozo in a nutshell. Let's get to the Pokemon I have built. First Pokemon we're gonna talk about is Blossom. Uh, I had Venusaur in this spot, but I think Blossom just does a couple things that Venusaur can't do. Very few things. Uh, you could actually probably sub out Blossom for Venusaur <laughs> for this. Uh, this Blossom will know Acid Spray, which we've already talked about. Then no Grass Knot, Strength Sap, and Sunny Day. Sunny Day is just here to shut down Rain or boost other Pokemon that have the move Growth. Because uh, most of the Pokemon here resist water, we're just shutting down Rain for the sake of shutting down Rain. There's other ways to shut down Rain. But ultimately, we're just going to Acid Spray. We're going to Grass Knot to do big damage. And then our held item here will be a Shell Bell. And that will help us get our health back. You could put something like Giga Drain here to get even more health back, but I think the damage combination between Acid Spray and Grass Knot will allow Shell Bell to get the same, if not more, health back that you would get from a Giga Drain, which is base 75. Now, Grass Knot's damage is calculated based on how heavy the Pokemon is you are versing. And because Don Dozo weighs 220 kilograms, which is 485 freedom pounds, that means that. Grass Knot will do the max amount of damage, which is 120 base damage. That does make it significantly stronger than something like Giga Drain, which is base 75. And even on top of that, we still have health recovery uh, from Strength Sap. Strength Sap will lower Don Dozo's attack stat and then give you HP back. Just keep in mind, because this is a status type move, you cannot use it when the shield is up. But maybe ideally, let's just say Dondoza opens with Rain Dance and Wave Crash. You're already going to take damage off the bat on turn zero. You could open up with a Strength Sap to get your health back and to then start lowering Dondozo's attack stat. The other moves uh, that I have here on my graphic that I wanted to talk about and uh, point out is a move called Uproar. There are a couple Pokemon I was building that had the move Uproar, and I just want to talk about what it does because I think some people are just unaware of what it does, and even if you don't use it at all, you, you might learn something new here. Uproar is a normal special type move that will last for three turns, and during that time, no Pokemon on the field will be able to sleep, and any sleeping Pokemon will wake up. So this is actually really great for a Pokemon that would spam the move Yawn, because it would, it would wake everyone up, and if Dondozo had the move Rest, and it tries to rest, it would also wake that Pokemon up too. So. There were a few Pokemon I was building with uh, Uproar, but like I said earlier, there was a couple ways to stop sleep. Misty Terrain, Safeguard, Electric Terrain. But another way to stop sleep is actually Uproar. Just a fun thing that Blossom can actually learn, but I don't think we'll need it to use it here on Blossom. And then EV-wise for Blossom, you can do 252 HP, 40 Defense, and 216 in Special Attack. And keep in mind that we'll see other Pokemon with Grass Knot, but because Grass Knot is based on Dondozo's weight, it will always do the maximum damage, which is 120. Our next Pokemon is a Pokemon we've already built, and it's uh, pretty much exactly the same. I, it's, it's, we'll just start off with the Eevees, which is 252 HP, 252 Defense, and then 4 in Special Attack. This is going to be a full support Pokemon. You probably only need like one on your team. The held item is going to be Eviolite. The reason we're doing Eviolite is it makes... Weepin' Bell bulkier than Victory Bell. And even though Victory Bell can do more damage, we're not here to do damage with Weepin' Bell. We're here to help our team do damage. It's a full support Pokemon. So we're going to do uh, Giga Drain, Acid Spray, Clear, Smog, and Lunge. You could also put Reflect on Weepin' Bell. You can also put Sunny Day if you want to remove that water for the team. You could sub out Lunge for Reflect. They're ultimately doing the same thing. Reflect is going to reduce the physical damage. Lunge is going to act like chilling water. 
you can lunge over and over to make Dondoza do less damage. Not only does Weeping Bell get Acid Spray, which will accelerate all our special attackers to do more damage, uh, Weeping Bell also gets access to Clear Smog. So if Dondoza with something like Curse goes to like a plus six, like we saw with the seven star Meganium, we can just Clear Smog and bring that back down to zero. Just keep in mind that Clear Smog will remove the Acid Spray that you've done. So ideally, how I would play uh, Weeping Bell is if there's no stat boost off the back, I would start off with some lunges. Once Dondoza resets his stats, I would probably lunge a couple more times and then go into Acid Spray. We've seen that seven star raid bosses usually only reset their own stats once or twice. And usually that first time it resets stats is within, within the first like minute of the match, within the first like 20% HP that it has normally puts up a shield and reset. So as a Weeping Bowl player, you just do, do really have to pay attention to when things are resetting. You are playing Weeping Bell, and if Don Dozo is going to go up to plus six with Curse, you're going to want to clear smog it as soon as possible. Kind of drop everything you're doing, clear smog, and then reapply what you need to reapply. So if you've already had a Weeping Bell uh, that you've seen from a previous video, you should be able to uh, just bring it right on over for this. Just change a couple moves and you'll be good to go. Clear Smog is an egg move. Uh, you can get it off of Fungus. That's that's how I did it for this video. So uh, just keep that in mind. Just use the Mirror Herb, delete a move, picnic with a Fungus. You'll be good to go on that one. Our next Pokemon is going to be Wo Chen, which is actually very similar EVs to the Wo Chen we built for the first time 7-star Pikachu came around. But we've di we did change some moves here. So Wo Chen has a really cool ability called Tablets of Ruin. The power of all Pokemon on the field besides Wo Chen himself will decrease. The attack will decrease by, I believe, 20%. So that means right off the bat, Dondozo is doing 20% less damage with all of its moves. So you only really need one Wo Chen on the team. Two isn't terrible, but because all the Pokemon that I have built are special attackers, and we don't have any Iron Hand standing next to us. Uh, Tablets of Ruin will not affect those physical players. This even works with like a Maridon. If you have a Maridon standing next to you, because Maridon is a special attacker, all of everything here is a special attacker. But Dondozo is a physical attacker. Wo Chen gets that Grass Knot to do that 120 damage. It also gets Reflect to make Dondozo do even less damage. So we got Reflect and we got Tablets of Ruin. They do stack together. We have Taunt that should prevent a Yawn or a Curse that might happen. And then we can alternate between Giga Drain and Grass Knot. Giga Drain to get your health back or to build Terra. Grass Knot to do big damage. And then we're going to do Miracle Seed. Miracle Seed is going to boost both our grass attacks by 20%, which is a lot for, for something like Grass Knot. That will let Wo Chen do really, really good damage, especially paired next to the first three, two grass Pokemon we have, with, which both have Acid Spray. And then we get a 20% boost to Giga Drain, which will let us get a little bit more health back with 200 HP, 56 defense, and 252 special attack. So I built this in a way where our first three Pokemon are grass Pokemon that resist any earthquakes or any stomping tantrums that Dondozo has, that resist the water type moves that Dondozo has. If Dondozo has something like Avalanche, all of these Pokemon can play around Avalanche. Finally, that brings us into our three ice type Pokemon that we're actually going to do. And before we get to those three Ice-type Pokemon, if you want to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, do all that YouTube stuff, that would really help me out. These videos take quite a while to do. We spent four hours calculating these six Pokemon, and then I spent another hour making graphics, and then I spent another two hours putting together this video. So uh, if you could interact with this video in some way, that would, that would uh, mean a lot to me. All right, uh, our first Ice-type Pokemon is also a Grass-type Pokemon, which is a Bomb Snow. Abomasnow actually does really, really well here. Uh, it does get access to Grass Knot and Chilling Water, so we have a way to control Dondozo's physical attack, and then we have a way to do big damage um, with Grass Knot. On top of that, it gets uh, an ability called Snow Warning, and so Ice-type Pokemon in the snow will actually get a defense increase, which will make that more viable. Now, I said earlier we need to get rid of the rain somehow just to reduce the damage. We can, reduce, we can get rid of sun, uh, we can get rid of rain, I'm sorry, with sun or with snow, 
depending on what weather you have might be dependent on which combination of Pokemon you have. So if you're going with these three ice Pokemon, snow is going to be better. If you're going with the three grass Pokemon that I've suggested, uh, sun might be better. But I want to show you how powerful these ice type Pokemon can be in the snow. Uh, so if we look up here, we have this, the Obama snow that I have built. And then we have the Dondozo with the four most expected moves, Wave Crash, Order Up, Heavy Slam, and Earthquake. And you can see that the move that does the most damage here is Wave Crash, even though uh, Obama's, uh, Obama Snow resists Wave Crash. If we put up just a Reflect or an Aurora Veil, I guess in this case for Obama Snow, you can see how Wave Crash goes from a three hit KO to a six hit KO. And then Order Up is a nine hit KO, a Heavy Slam, an eight hit KO. And then Earthquake is like an 11 hit KO. So Dondozo would still rely on Wave Crash. But if we add Snow to that mix, all of a sudden Wave Crash becomes a 9 hit KO, only doing up to 12% damage to Obama Snow. Uh, order Up doing uh, a 12 hit KO, Heavy Slam 12 hit KO, and Earthquake looks to be a 20 hit KO. So that is just how powerful. Obama snow can be here by just being in a snow and setting Aurora Veil or being in the snow and somebody else setting Reflect. Uh, and now if we take an account that we do maybe like two Chilling Waters, now all of a sudden Wave Crash be becomes a 20 hit KO in order to take out Obama snow. Just absolutely crazy. If it's the opposite way, let's just say that uh, Dondozo does three curses and it's at a plus three. And Wave Crash is still at that point a four hit KO. Just looking at Obama Snow's moveset, we have so many ways to control. We have the we have the snow for ourselves and for our other ice type Pokemon. We have the Aurora Veil vale for our entire team. We have the Chilling Water for our entire team. We can use Chilling Water to build Terra, and then we can Grass Knot for big damage. And we're just gonna use Shell Bell here to get health back from the big damage of Grass Knot. Grass Knot also, of course, works with the Acid Spray users that we built earlier. Um, you could put Giga Drain here. You could also put Growth here if you are playing with Sun users. But I think I think the Grass Knot, Chilling Water, Snowscape, Aurora Veil is pretty good until we know final move set for Dondozo. And just 252 HP, 4 defense, 252 special attack. Make sure to bottle cap all your Pokemon, by the way. Uh, moving on to Lapras. Lapras is going to be a support Pokemon for us. So we have two support Pokemon. We have Weeping Bell and we have Lapras. They do different kinds of support. Freeze Dry, Chilling Water, Life Dew, and Reflect. We are going to have Lapras hold the Light Clay. That will make Reflect last eight turns instead of five turns. And it's the one Pokemon here that will be able to constantly heal our team with Life Dew. So ideally, Lapras will open up with a Reflect. It will use Chilling Water to lower Dondozo's attack and will Life Dew in between. If everything is going very smoothly, you can Freeze Dry for really decent damage because Freeze Dry is super effective against Water-type Pokemon. And Lapras is already an Ice type, and you can Ice type Terra. Uh, freeze Dry will actually do quite a bit of damage, assuming everything is okay, right? Like a Lapras's main job is to keep the team alive and to control damage. But like I, I like it said, <laughs> if you don't need Life Dew, that means things are go going well, and then you can switch over to Chilling Water, Freeze Dry, Spam to keep things going well. Freeze Dry is an Egg move. You can get Freeze Dry really easily off Iron Bundle. Spoiler, Iron Bundle is coming up next. Uh, we're going to do Modest here with two, 252 HP, 100 Defense, and 156 Special Attack. And we are doing Ice-type Terra here for Lapras. Now, you might be worried about Heavy Slam because Steel is super effective against Ice. But Heavy, unlike Grass Knot, Grass Knot is based off of the... Grass Knot's damage is based off of the Pokemon you're attacking's weight. Heavy Slam compares the two weights of the Pokemon and then calculates it that way. So Heavy Slam does more damage when the weight, that means it would do, ma Heavy Slam would do max damage to something that would be like 10 kilograms because the, the separation is so uh, great between the two. But Lapras actually weighs the same amount as Dondozo. They both weigh 220 kilograms, which is 485 uh, pounds in freedom units. So that means Heavy Slam doesn't actually do any damage to, well, it does a little bit of damage, but it's not a worry for Lapras. And Lapras has the ability to water absorb, so any of those water moves will just turn into HP for Lapras. So Lapras actually survives incredibly well here. Now, if you apply the logic that I did for Obama Snow with 
snowscape being up. Lapras's defenses only get better if there are, is snow up. Do you need snow up for Lapras? No. Reflect is great. Chilling water is great. But if there is snow here, Lapras becomes even harder to take down than Obama Snow was that we just talked about. And then our final Pokemon is going to be Iron Bundle with the Stellar Terra type. This is the this is one of the examples where if we went pure ice and then Dondoza used Heavy Slam, it would do a lot of damage to Iron Bundle. That's why we're doing Stellar here to keep our water uh, resistances. Uh, we're going to do Shell Bell on Iron Bundle, and then we're going to do Freeze Dry, Chilling Water, Electric Terrain, and Taunt. You could also do Snowscape, Aurora Veil here on Iron Bundle as well. Can set Electric Terrain. That would prevent the sleep. We also have two Pokemon that know Taunt, Iron Bundle, and Wochen. That will also prevent sleep or curse, assuming yawn. <laughs> And then uh, Freeze Dry. Freeze Dry, it, it does the super effective damage to water type Pokemon. You get the same type attack bonus with Ice. You get the, also the Stellar Boost. Works really well with Acid Spray users. So all of our Pokemon here can control Dondozo's attack in some way or another. In case we see another plus six with Curse, we have multiple ways to control Sleep. We have multiple ways to shut down Rain. Also, when Electric Terrain is set, Quark Drive will activate, which will make uh, Iron Bundle's special attack do more damage. We're going to do 252 HP, 20 defense, and 236 special attack for uh, Iron Bundle. Uh, and I think that's it. I think that is all six of our Pokemon. If you wanted to play Iron Bundle maybe efficiently, uh, I would maybe not Electric Terrain until we know when a Yawn is coming uh because that lasts five turns and it also gives you a damage increase for you and your team so assuming it has yawn it might not do it until maybe about 50 percent hp so you don't ideally want to set electric terrain and then have it wear off the same time you're hitting about 50 percent, and then all of a sudden you're panicking because you have to reset it again so just pay attention to where that yawn is going to be for that electric terrain Taunting might be more efficient than electric terrain because it might curse before it yawns, assuming it has either of those moves. So just keep that in mind. You're going to use chilling water to build a Terra and then switch over to freeze dry. Once stats are reset, do another two to three chilling waters, switch over to freeze dry again. Should be smooth sailing. Uh, so yeah, there's all six Pokemon. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Uh, there is a bunch of Pokemon that could work just fine. I know people are like, where's Zarina? I think Lapras is ultimately doing Zarina's job a lot better than Zarina can do. They both were going to do the same thing, which is lower the attack and set screens. I think Lapras just does that way better than Zarina. You could say where's Superior or Lorantis. I think both are fine, Superior and Lorantis. Uh, I think that they do need a little bit of help. I think they... Um, well, Superior gets Breaking Swipe, which is, which I don't think Lorantis gets any of that. But I do think they, they do need a, one of these Pokemon to stay next to them to support a little bit. I think Baridon is honestly fine here, um, especially if it's standing next to one or two Pokemon that are constantly using Chilling Water to control that physical attack stat. So there are quite a few Pokemon that I, I, I think work. You got three Grass, you got three Ice. Well, technically, I guess you got four, four Grass. But they, they all work really, really well together. And I'm excited to do Dondozo this weekend. If you need help with Dondozo, I will be... Anytime I'm streaming, if I'm playing Scarlet and Violet, you need help with Dondozo, just come into stream. Let me know you need help. As long as I'm not in the middle of 30-minute shiny sandwich, I will stop what I'm doing, and I will definitely help you if I'm playing Scarlet and Violet. So just let me know this weekend if you need help. Come over to the Twitch stream. I will definitely help you get your Dondozo done. But um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I'm also, it's my birthday on Monday, and I'm going to be doing a big birthday stream, and we're going to probably shiny hunt the Cramorant. So uh, if you're not doing anything on Monday and you want to sw swing by, that would be cool too. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for making it to the end, and I'll see you guys next time.